Hey, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. This week we've got Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Megatron. And from our friends over at NECA, we've got Evil Dead 2 Dead Eye Ash. Enjoy! Alright, welcome to another episode. Uh, first things first, I want to congratulate the winner of our most recent contest, Kenneth Gonzalez. He is a recipient of a um, Star Wars Bastilla Sean uh, vintage edition action figure. So, congratulations Kenneth. Uh, he submitted three um, images. He only got one entry, so he got lucky and he won, but um, some really cool, funny pictures of Matt. We, so. uh, we laughed for hours. We did, literally. Good stuff. Yeah. So congratulations, Kenneth. You will be receiving your figure very soon. So, all right, let's do some reviews. We got, first up, we got Transformers Prime Megatron Voyager class. Woo! Woo! To say. All right, what do we got here? He is a uh, pretty pretty beastly looking figure mm -hmm. direct from the uh, TV show of the same name. That's right. Series one, number two out of the series, Voyager class. Yes, they only released right. two. They did a Prime, right. Optimus Prime, and then Megatron. Megatron. So. Spoiler alert: May, uh, Optimus looks to be the peg warmer this time. Yeah. But hey, what are you gonna do? Anyway, um, you know, figure looks like a pretty cool representation mm -hmm. of uh, it's a you know a 3D action figure. Obviously, you can play with it of a you know 3D show. So pretty cool. Yeah, and um, you can kind of uh, you have a teaser of the the um, the act the action or whatever the uh special features inside the package here Come they have a little cut out and you can you can try them and see if you like it it so, lights up and stuff. it lights up yeah those How cool shiny that? lights yeah it's kind of this is kind of like an extension of that mech tech stuff they were doing with the dark of the moon action figures yeah yeah a little bit it's probably actually just a reused piece <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh we got all these extra missile launchers laying around here let's just throw it in here Get with the prime figures nobody gives a shit <laughs> Yeah, anyway. no one's going to remember these things in a year anyway. <laughs> so, so he looks pretty cool. Um, you know, one thing, that, the package is very nice for this. It's uh, This is kind of the standard design for the Voyager class boxes now. Yeah. Where they've got that sawed off corner. Story here on the side. Mm -hmm. Picture of the character on the side. And then a, a picture of some form of the character here on the front. This yeah. seems to be uh, Megatron's, I guess, jet mode. It's a little bit smaller than some of like the um, the re reveal the shield Voyager class boxes. Is it? Is it? Yeah, I think the, the actual packaging they're they're using less packaging. You know, they they kind of um, condensed everything. So that's fine with me. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good looking box. Nice bright. I mean, it's pretty much white on top and around the sides. You get a little mm -hmm. bit of color on the front. Yeah. Um, and then of course on the back here, you've got a picture of Megatron all transformed in spaceship mode. Mm -hmm. And then a shameless little plug for the Hub TV yep. network. Now, another thing I want to point out, this is not the first edition no. trans, uh, Megatron. Um, the first edition Megatron is more of a, a metallic finish to it, and you could definitely tell the difference between that one and this one. So, Yeah. Um, but this one is easy to find in stores, and the other one <laughs> was <It's> not. not. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently, like I didn't know this, but on some of those first edition figures, um, they're just like um, like different paint job, yes. But some of them are actually different figures. Like I heard the Cliff Jumper is completely different. Is it really? Yeah. I don't know. From images of him, I, he doesn't look different. But I, don't yeah, know. I could be wrong. Apparently, um, eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> We're not reviewing. I know Cliff the Bumble. Jumper. I know the Bumblebee's pretty much the same <clears throat> figure, only different um, paint job. Um, but I th I'm pretty sure that this one in the first edition was only released in Canada. So. Oh yeah. Never came out in the United States. Yeah, that first edition was kind of. Yeah. BS. Yep. All right, well, let's get this bad boy open and check them out. And we are back with uh, robot mode. And quite frankly, that's the only mode I really care about. Yeah. If, uh, if I was at home, this is where I would stop. I wouldn't even worry about these instructions in the trash they would go. Mm -hmm. um, but since we're doing a review, we figure for you little people out there, we will put him in space jet mode. Yeah. Even Painstakingly. Though we're just, uh, uh, just going to put him right back later. Exactly. Anywho, let's talk about the uh, robot mode a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we Very sure. cool. It's... Uh, just just looking at the figure itself, it looks like a very intimidating little transformation here. Yeah. Because you have random parts everywhere that look 
just completely cool. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I like the little uh, shoulder horns. Yeah. Here. It looks like he has like shoulder super, pads on. Super metal. It's like something out of like World of Warcraft or whatever. Um, look at that cool chest. Yeah, yeah. Very intricate look to it. <laughs> A lot. One thing I'm noticing on this figure, they have, just like the Optimus Prime figure they came out with, They've mm. got a lot of like kind of that translucent plastic. Yeah. In this case, it's purple for him. That's like light piping. So when you put it up against the lights, it kind of glows mm -hmm. and looks really cool. Yeah. Or if you or if you you have them in, uh, on your bookcase or something like that, and you have overhead light beaming down onto your figures, um, it'll make this figure look really make awesome. Him look like he's bringing um, the dark energy on. Yeah. And this figure does look a lot better than he did in the package. In fact, uh, when I first saw him in stores, I wasn't too impressed with him. I thought he looked kind of strange. Um, but then once we got him opened and everything like that, I was like, man, this guy's awesome. Yeah. This guy looks really cool, actually. Very so. good. You know, this is a great example of a Transformer being a really good action figure in mm -hmm. this mode. Because yeah. he's got lots of articulation. He can swing his arms out full to the sides. Uh, he's yeah. got the right angle elbow bend. I don't know. Can he swivel at the joints or anything? Yeah. His arm, yeah. Full swivel there at the lower mm -hmm. bicep so you can get him to do some really cool yeah. poses across the chest. Uh, wrist tilter. Yeah, no finger articulation though. That's kind of disappointing. But yeah, yeah it's less than that. Yeah, it looks like it's already kind of in in place, but, but it's they, not. It's just a skull yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, it looks like he's got where you can move with the thighs. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think he's got waist art. No, uh, he doesn't have any waist. Have a waist spin. Well, he doesn't need yeah. his hips though. He has a ball joint right there in the hip. Very great. It does twist at the upper thigh. So you can go dancing. Exactly. Knees obviously bend. And the feet are contorted. You can move the feet around so you can get Very them. Very cool. You can have his legs out. You can have him like a running, the running man pose or whatever. Um, he can do the cabbage patch. He can do the uh, the shopping cart. He can do pretty much all of them. He's so. ready to roll. Mm -hmm. So he looks really great. Um, and all around, you know, great detail. Yeah. I mean, with these figures, you don't ever have to really worry much about paint apps, but they look good considering yeah. it's all of two colors. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes with a super sweet looking accessory, which is well, two accessories actually. One, for yes, the that's yeah. right. I yeah. forgot about. It. First, we have here the gun cannon, mm -hmm. uh, Megatron's signature weapon, again with that translucent plastic, and yeah. incorporating some of the mech tech features from Dark of the Moon. You have a transforming here into a laser guided sword. So he can chop you, cut you in half, and then zap you with the laser. Yep. Right in your balls. And then over here we have a, um, they call it the well, Battle I, Claw. I call it the Sodomus Maximus. It's the Violator. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, for some extreme fisting. It's going to get um, right up in there. You know. So if a Starscream ever talks back to uh, Megatron, just... you know what's going to happen. <laughs> Um, the one detail I, I was, I had kind of mixed reactions for was his face. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the, in fact, I'm not a fan at all of the bug faces, like, uh, the movie figures, but his, his face is a little bit more subtle. It's more, it's a little bit more, um, war Cybertron looking yeah. to me. So it's not quite buggy like the movie figures. So I, I can, I can accept it. And I can see that. Yeah. I, however, actually really enjoy this face. I think it looks kind of neat. I definitely agree. I definitely see some of the war for Cybertron in there, but for some, I see a little bit of a cat in there too. Yeah, because he's got these. Yeah, you know, yeah. you'll see it. I mean, I've always been more of a fan of the Gen One, like human face. Yeah, human faces and transforms. So. Th this face, I like the face, but it also comes to my one complaint so far on the figure, which is the paint apps. Because if you see, you know, on the like um, jaw and up around the eyes, he's got this nice silver paint. But then everything else is that kind of gray plastic all around the head. Yeah. So it really, it, kind it of really draws your yeah. draws your attention to the fact that the whole thing's not like that. Yeah. And it just looks like paint splatter. Yeah. The the face could have really used a, like a wash or something like that to give yeah. a little bit more detail. And sadly, that's missing. But overall, though, robot mode, I think this guy's really awesome, and um, he's much better looking out of the package. And and once I got a closer look at him, than I thought he was going to. So I definitely would give him. Uh, a B plus as far as awesome figures goes. Um, let's see what he looks like in the uh, let's, yeah let's robot or in the uh, vehicle mode. Let's do it. Do it to it. All right, now we are back with the vehicle mode. Um, not bad actually. It's very strange looking. It's very kind of uh, um, like bug like. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty cool. I think they did a really good job um, designing it. Big time. Know? I mean, one thing that this show. Uh, this style of figure has going for it is it doesn't really have to. It's supposed to be a Cybertronian mode, so it's not really supposed to look too much like something here on Earth. 
Yeah. So they can give it a little bit more exotic shape. Yeah. And tweak the design a little bit so that the transformation to robot actually uh, works out a little mm-hmm. bit better. I mean, you can't do that with somebody like Optimus. Yeah, he's going to look like a truck. He's got to look like a semi, or Bumblebee's got to look like a car. Yeah. This guy can look like a crazy bug jet or something. Yeah, which he does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it what it did it was very time consuming and it did take a while for us to get it transformed. Yeah. I mean, as you can tell, um, this looks nothing like the robot mode. No, and it's very it's very difficult when you're actually transforming because you don't really have a whole lot of frame of references. It's not like you can be like, okay, now he's starting to look like a car. I mean, this thing is just freaking weird looking. This guy looks, <laughs> This thing looks like a big old cluster uh, every time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not a bad you know once you it does start to come together. I'm sure if you do this enough times, you'll get used to it. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, criticisms here on the uh, vehicle mode though top looks awesome undercarriage it's a mess yeah bottom just looks like two legs folded over yeah and that's a problem i think we've run into lately with a lot of these figures yeah. like when we did the star scream a while back i remember saying oh vehicle mode looks pretty cool until you flip him over and it's yeah. like oh he's just a robot waiting to transform but if you have him laid down on a table that completely covers it up yeah but if you try to make him fly around, then it, he just looks like a hot mess on the bottom. Yeah. Now, you can also still attach his battle claw and gun sword uh, to the vehicle yeah. mode. and we, We're pretty sure this is how you do it. Based on the pictures and everything like that, it looks like that. Put him this way, and he looks like a Star Wars droid tank. Yeah. Which I very much so like. And then you can flip it around, I guess, if you need to, mm-hmm. and have some sweet sword action. Mm-hmm. Stab battle claw people. You can have them crossing swords with other uh, jet jets. Yeah, bug jets. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's not a bad vehicle mode. No. Over what? overall though, I think um, I don't. I, I like this figure. I especially like robot mode. Vehicle mode is not bad if you're a fan of vehicle modes. Um, I think you would like this one just because it's original and it's Very. unique. Um, but robot mode really sets this figure off, and there's some really cool characteristics about it. Very much so. So I would definitely say overall a win on this figure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. What's up? Look what we have here. Evil Dead from NECA. Two. Mm-hmm. Not the first one. This one, obviously, is way cooler because it's the second one. Yep. Dead Eye Dash. And, um, you know, it's easy to say. Well, it's pretty obvious that both me and Jeremy here are huge Evil Dead fans. Yeah. So was... when these figures came out, I, I came a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to call him. I was like, right, right in the middle of Toys R Us, too. Sent him a picture, and he was just spanking uh, to the picture. He couldn't help yeah, himself. Yeah, I couldn't help myself, yeah. Yeah, especially since it's Evil Dead yeah. 2, and it actually got... The first one, yeah, it's okay, but this one is where it's at. Yep. This one's more exciting. You have better figure options with this one, like the chainsaw hand, you know, the one, the, the fat bloated bitch in the cellar. Yeah. So, but this one is just Dead Eye Dash. It comes with his girlfriend Judy. Was that her name? I Judy? think so. Judy's yeah. head that he had to decapitate. Yep. It's tough love. And she's still talking to him. <laughs> and she wouldn't shut the yeah. fuck up. So. Uh, yeah. And so of course, <laughs> the cool uh, Necronomicon tape, tape recorder. Yeah. And it comes with a copy of the Necronomicon. Yeah. Too. I might read that later. Let's yeah. See what happens. Oh, you might turn to that guy. Watch out. Um, but oh, yeah, let's talk about the package a little bit. Um, yeah. I love the. I love the. Um, I love the. Uh, of course, it's. It's very traditional NECA blister card. Um, pretty simple, but of course it has the Evil Dead 2 um, artwork and um, like a VHS art cover art. Yeah. And on the side here has some pictures of the figures. And of course on the back it has a little bio. It has a Evil Dead 2 written there. Another big picture of the figure and then all the other figures in the line. So um, overall I think it looks cool. Yeah. You know, I, look, I like the background, like the woodsy background and stuff like that in there. Too. Does it say 25th anniversary? In it does thing? celebrate yeah. the 25th anniversary of Evil Dead 2 with the exciting new collection of highly detailed puzzle action figures. Wow. Figures include uh, scene-specific accessories to help you reenact the gleeful, gory Ooh. masterpiece that is Evil Dead 2, we can Dead re- by Dawn. We can reenact Dead it. by Dawn. Dead well, by Dawn. The funny thing is, did they release any last year for the first movie, any figures? Because last year was would have been the 30th year, right? I guess. it was 81. Uh, was it 81? And this came out in 86? And 87. Or 87. It's because it's 25 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is 2012. I don't know. I forget what year no. it is. But... Yeah, I guess the first movie was not that memorable as this one cause yeah, there's there's a little bit less memorable characters I think and memorable memorable versions of Ash and stuff in this one. So yeah, um, this one yeah. Okay. But I say we get it open and check it out. Where is this motherfucker open? Mm-hmm. Do it. Go. Damn, pumped up. 
And we are back with uh, Evil Dead, Dead-Eyed Ash. And he is fucking awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this figure is freaking sweet. Um, he actually has, even for a NECA figure, he has some great articulation. He has a lot of leg articulation. His, um, he has some bend at the hips. His thighs move. Uh, they both twist. Um, his knees actually bend. He has some knee articulation. And he has some ankle articulation, which is... Uh, it's pretty good for a figure like this, and none of it. Look at this, and all, yeah, and even all of it. Wrist. Even the wrist. Oh, yeah, I wasn't was expecting like, much. Can, I was figuring he'd little... be, just be stiff and yeah. not even happy with it. But... He, could, he could do some uh, wrist stuff. Yeah, um, and most of his articulation is well hidden too. You know, um, the light, the the jeans and stuff like that. You can put him in a couple different poses, and it doesn't look like you know you don't see the creases as much. No, not at all. Um, really, waist. He, he does have actually some waist spin, which I I just discovered. <laughs> um. His arms, uh, you know, shoulder bend, elbow bend, and um, like Jeremy pointed out, his wrists do have actually a pretty good amount of articulation yeah. that uh, he normally doesn't have. And of course, his head can turn and, and everything. And just, I don't know, he's amazing. You want to talk about the detail? Oh my god, the detail is sick. I that mean, face is unreal. <laughs> The blood is just... Mm -hmm. oh my and god. it looks like he does in the movie, like straight it, it, up. It does, exactly. Yeah. I, love, yeah, I, love, I love the... The blood, I love like the uh, the water stains from him laying in that puddle or whatever on his shirt. Even the has, mud stains on his pants. Even has a little blood on his hand there between the fingers. Yep. Yeah, the, the mud that splattered on him here. Yep. His teeth are nice and yellow. And jacked and up. Yeah, he has like meth up, mouth. Like, he has some serious yeah, meth mouth. Looking ill, nah, nah. Yeah. Blood coming out of the ear a little bit there. Just, oh my God. Yeah. He looks. He looks like he's amazing. possessed by a demon. Amazing. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's talk about these really awesome accessories that he comes yes. with. Um, first things first, he comes with a copy of the Necronomicon. Of course, you can see the face on on it, and um, of course, this book is a scale to the figure, so it's not gigantic, but yeah, it looks cool. I, I like the Necronomicon yeah, a lot. A lot of detail too. You can even see the pages in there. Exactly. It doesn't open up or anything, but no, whatever. I wanted to read it. Yeah. yeah um. It, it comes with a really cool uh, tape recorder, just in case you can't read. You could always just play the tape, and it'll recite the Necronomicon and summon demons as well. Oh, so it's really cool, um, like eighties, eighties. Actually, this is probably closer to the seventies, like style tape recorder, which is pretty cool. I like it retro. And the um, the best accessory, or is it, was it Judy or Barbara? Or? I thought it was Judy, but it might be, I could I be wrong. I can't remember. But yeah, she's got some of where she, oh she puked up. You know, when they die, they and the black, the black stuff, stuff comes out. Stuff yeah. out. Yeah, you can even see like the main arteries and the neck underneath there. Yeah, and her separate. esophagus too. Yeah, yeah you can see like the that. esophagus. It's pretty. That it's pretty is amazing. unreal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she would never shut up even yeah. with her head cut. Stick off. her head in the vice or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Saw in half. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Word to the wise: even if you cut cut their head off. <laughs> The women sometimes just don't won't it still won't show up. It just doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't work. Yeah, it is cackle. Yeah, cackle. So, um, the only the only drawback to the accessories is he can't like hold the head. I was really hoping he could just like kind of like a be... fistful of hair and walk around and you could pose him with the head. Um, so really, it's like, what do you do with this thing? You just kind of like <laughs> set it next to a shoe or something like that. He, he can, can play soccer it. with it. Yeah. Ah, it's like, yeah. You know, so, and it, you know, unless you have a table or something like that, like none of these. Actually, if it, if you can get a table, and you can just have like the tape recorder, the head, and the Necronomicon all like hanging out yeah, on the table. Yeah, you or put like the shotgun shells here yeah. that you get with the yeah, other and the shotgun and chainsaw and everything like that. And then he can have a tea party and really freak people out when they come over. <laughs> yeah, that would be damn creepy. Yeah, actually, that'd be like the scariest fondue party you've ever been to. <laughs> Yeah, his fingers on the little prongs instead of actually like yeah his severed red. hand that he cuts off later yeah so but overall I I love this figure this figure is so freaking cool um I if you're even a slight fan of uh, the Evil Dead series or whatever or I Bruce highly, Campbell or Bruce Campbell I'd highly recommend picking these up because they just, NECA did a fantastic job yeah. on these things I mean look at his chin he's got the chin yeah it's just yeah. There. I mean, the sculpting's great, and I love the fact that they finally have started adding articulation to these figures. Yeah. I mean, they had a little bit before, but now it's, like, really starting to shine through. Um, so they, it's a good meld of articulation and um, aesthetics and sculpting. So Exactly. They, they did a great job. Pretty amazing. Even what I just noticed here is where his pants are torn. They actually took the time to paint the flesh inside there. Mm -hmm. And it, actually, his shirt comes up a little bit, too, around the waist. You can see his sock in there, too. Oh, yeah. Holy shit! Bob. Yeah, some gold toes he's wearing. Yeah, 
pretty tight. Um, and look, look, you can see his. Um, oh my god, he's actually. It's like his shirt wow. is actually separated from his body. Wow. Yeah, the shirt's like a rubber thing, and underneath it is it's flesh. It's and flesh and actually back hair. He's a little bit of like yeah, stubble. He's to shave that shit. <laughs> okay. He's getting burly. Mm-hmm. He's a bear. Yeah, you can see his. Um, Where's his cub? I don't know. Yeah, he has a belly button. On there. Actually- yeah, he has a belly button, <laughs> and he kind of has. There? He kind of has God. a. Um, he kind of has a um, a hair trail, you know, the happy trail, <laughs> the treasure, <know>. trail. <laughs> the treasure trail, treasure <laughs> trail. <laughs> yeah, so there's more detail. The more you look at it, the better it gets. There's yeah, not too many figures like that. There's a lot of figures yeah. out there. You start looking, you're like, oh, what is this? What is this? Like now that I flip this over, I can see where they would put the batteries in the big D batteries. And yeah, there's a little speaker on the bottom, and little legs, and a handle, and my God, I can see this thing actually playing. That's it's yeah. God, I am highly impressed. So overall, I give these bad boys an A plus, or this bad boy an A plus. I think he's freaking awesome. Um, he definitely um, does the Deadites proud. You know, yeah. Ready to so so all you Deadites out there, you should uh, you should be proud of this figure and proud of Neca for making you it. You should buy it where her head belongs between his legs. Ooh, oh, get some, get some. All right, this has been another exciting episode of Atomic Martian Tour Reviews. Thank you for tuning in, and make sure you tune in every week. Uh, we try to bring you the best uh, toy reviews on the internet, um, and maybe one day we will. Someday, yeah, I'll grow up. If not, you know, we try to bring you um, a bunch of dick and fart jokes. <laughs> yeah, every week. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we do a pretty good job on that. Um, I want to thank some of our sponsors, especially our new sponsor, WBCollect.com. Um, I have ordered figures off this website before, and they do a great job. Um, and they have some of the cheapest prices online. So if you like G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Cheap. Marvel Universe, um, Marvel Legends, pretty much everything cheap. everything we review, they sell for cheap. I like cheap. Cheap? Like, yeah. like my prostitutes. That's cheap. right. You can't buy a prostitute there, but you can get some cheap action figures. Well... For using all my prostitutes. Yeah. So make sure you check out wbcollect.com and, um, and um, tell them that uh, the Atomic Martian sent you. Um, our other sponsors that you should definitely collect check out too is uh, tenaciousToys.com, RadarToys.com, uh, T-Shirt Bordello, and Big Bad Toy Store. So make sure you check all of them out and um, and buy toys from them. And and Please. click on our links on our website so that we get credit for it. Yes, we like credit. Mm-hmm. And um, other than that, that's it. That's go to our yeah. Facebook page and um, watch our episodes and press the like button down the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do it now. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. All right. So peace out. We'll see you all next week.